Why is it important for you to host an AJGA event and what do you hope to accomplish by hosting these events? Um, it's always been my dream to host an AJGA tournament. I'm, it's all about all like giving back at the end, like the same as other pros who's hosting the AJGA events. Um, you know, I play a lot of AJGA events in, in the junior days um, and just get to play in these events and are, there are a lot of opportunities and then you know, we learn a lot from it. So you know, for me, um, I've always wanted to have my own event and then I feel like this is a good year to start. Um, and then um, hopefully, you know, we'll see some good junior golfers turn pro and, and have a success in their career. But, you know, it's all about the playing opportunity for them and, you know, the more events they play, and it's better for them. So um, and hopefully this will last, not just the next couple of years, hopefully it lasts, lasts longer and, and we'll see. And when you were an AJGA member, I'm sure you had your role models up in the PGA world. And, you know, these kids are now looking up to you as a pro golfer. Who did you look up to when you were an AJGA member? Oh, uh, well, my age was obviously Tiger. <laughs> he was, it was always there. Um, yeah, it was Tiger is probably one of them and KJ Choi because we have, we have the same countrymen. So definitely Tiger. Like if you ask everyone in my age, they'll probably say Tiger, but also KJ Choi. Awesome. And do you have any advice for juniors who are traveling or moving from different countries to get better playing opportunities like you did at a young age? Right. So for me, I moved to age 14. Um, this is this is, was more, um, you know, main reason, I guess, to move over here to get more playing, uh, playing in tournaments. And then so I can go to school at the same time. And you know, it's not easy to move at the at the young such a young age and especially for me I couldn't speak in English when I moved over here um, it wasn't easy obviously but because I I wanted to play golf so much so you know the times will pass the first few years will be tough but you know you get to do what you like to do you know playing golf practice almost every day so um, you know maybe tough the first few years but you know it'll, it'll go by quickly and also at the end you get to play golf a lot so you know, it's not easy but it's, it's also fun and then last question, both of your parents were Olympians and then now you yourself are an Olympian. How did it feel to be able to kind of follow in their footsteps and what did it mean to you to be able to go and do that? Uh, it means a lot. They're not, I'm sure there are not many uh, families or, or two Olympians or three Olympians in the one family. So um, it means a lot, but you know, it, it's kind of unfortunate I couldn't get a medal, but my parents both of them did. So. I still, got, I still got some work to do, but uh, just by playing it, I think it meant a lot. I'm sure that it's not something really easy to do. You know, you don't see it often. So um, maybe hopefully my son will make it one day, <laughs> I guess in the three generations.